Hey YouTube, the Bronx Queen of here, back with another video. Hope all is well. Welcome to my home once again. Okay, I wanted to come out here and talk to you guys about something that happened to me when I was just starting out my company, my business loan uh, company, which uh, was, you know, I had this person come up to me. I had this person that was kind of like a mentor at the time. Okay, his name is Tom Sauer. He used to work as one of the first few employees at a company called Fundera, okay? I don't know, I, I want to say that he was one of their, you know, I think he was like their number three, you know, or something like that. I don't want to, I don't want to make a mistake there, uh, you know, and get that wrong. But I think there were, I think he was their number three. And basically, you know, he was one of the people that took it to, uh, to, to what the company is now, to what it is today. And so he shared with me a couple things that I want to go ahead and pass pass along the gift to you guys. So where do we start? By going below this video and hitting that like button and getting your two free stocks from Weeble when you deposit a hundred bucks up to fourteen hundred dollars value. Oh yeah, you know it. No. All joking aside, one of you guys mentioned to me in the comments. Uh, I don't have I don't have the comment open right now, but one of you guys mentioned. To shave that uh, nut sack on, on my chin, so there you go. You know, I didn't shave it completely, but you know, I mean, I'm in I'm in quarantine, man. I'm trying to grow it out. You know, I've never had a beard before, but let's get into it. Okay, number five, top five things that I wanna I wanna help you guys with today. Okay, so number one is put yourself in the story. If you're if you're a broker right now, you want to put yourself in the person's story. Okay, what that mean? What does that mean? Okay, so 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 a business owner, you know, they're running around, they're doing a bunch of things. They're busy. They're growing their business. You gotta figure out, hey, where do where do I where do I fit in to this person's story, right? Where do I actually fit in the, in their story? And then and then as he was explaining, you know, there, there was a, a a phenomenal thing, almost like a like a something out of this world, out of this universe happened while he was explaining this to, to us. You know, he came in there and he came and talked to a bunch of our guys, a couple of our guys. It's almost as 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 if when he was explaining this, I kind of got the realization, oh wait, dude, I can treat myself just like a business owner. I'm just like these guys as business owners. So, you know, basically put yourself in their story. Like, where are you going to be in their story? Like, you know, people, what, what, this is what he said. He said people like fortune tellers. People like that when you, when you tell them what's going to happen. So when you tell the future, right? So th that's what they like. That's what he said. This is what he said. He said, people like when you, uh, when you tell the future, people, people like it when you tell the future. So when you, when you explain, this is what's going to happen. And when you tell the future, when you, when you could tell what's going to happen next. Okay. The second one is number two. Second one is, is, what is so innovative about business funding? Okay, let, let, let's let's be real about it. I mean, what is so innovative about business funding? You tell me. You, you can't tell me because it's it, there's nothing innovative about it. You borrow money and then you pay it back. There's no, there's there's no there's no gimmicks. There's no secrets here. It's just it's literally that's it, that is what it is. So there's nothing innovative about it. Um, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. There's just really nothing innovative about business funding unless. You, I mean, what do you think? What's your, what's your stance on that? Let, let me know in the comments what your stance is. It, it, you know, is there, is there something innovative about business funding or not? Okay, the next one I'm gonna mention is that he explained to me when I asked, dude, how do you get the leads? Which is probably the the biggest question I get asked here on, on a, a, a lot is is how how do you get the leads? Okay, and so the answer was. That he gave me was content, uh, you know. But keep in mind uh, that this person had about a you know a big team, sixteen person team helping them make content, etc. Um, but in the beginning, it was it was a lot of paid stuff. That that that's what he explained to me. This, these are his words, by the way. I'm I'm I'm, I'm paraphrasing. You know, I'm not. This isn't ver verbatim. But he, he explained to me that there was a lot of content and there was a lot of paid in the beginning when they couldn't when they couldn't build up that um, that content. But I had a I had a conference call a while back 
And you know, they explain something very, very, very interesting, which is SEO is a, is a never in the game. You know, you can never, you can never over optimize on your, I mean, you can never get so good at SEO. Um, it just, it's just a constant, constant improvement, improvement battle. In fact, uh, not me, but a friend of mine got over 150,000, uh, impressions on his website last month. That's for business funding, 150,000 people. Okay. On, on a site that was. That, that blew my mind, you know. All right, next up, I'm going to give you guys number tip number four is act like you won't follow up. Not not literally, don't don't literally act like you're not going to follow up. Like, don't be like a jerk. Like, 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 you know, sometimes, sometimes I, I could be like a little bit of a jerk, like, and then for, force people to, to do something on the spot there. Uh, you know, something that they may not be comfortable with. But I'll, I'll still I'll still try to force them to do it in some cases or pressure them to do it, uh, but not like that, not like not literally like that. But you gotta you gotta come off with such professionalism and such expertise and such knowledge that they just look at you like, oh man, dude, I can't let this guy down, man. Like this guy knows his stuff, man. This guy knows his stuff. He knows me, dude. Even make the guy laugh a little bit, man. Yeah, it goes the same thing with the putting putting yourself in their story. It's just it's just you know. You gotta, you gotta seem like such an, such an expert that, that, that you, they're like, dude, I've never seen someone working like this, man. Like, you know, I'm going to get him what he needs ASAP. And then, and then, and then if they don't, then, then by the time you do follow up, if you do need to follow up, they'll be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll get that to you. I'll get that stuff to you right now. You know, that's just how it is with lenders. I mean, in a similar industry, I'm going to take it to a different industry right now. But if you, if you, t if you go to the mortgage industry, in the mortgage industry, people are not going to waste their time on you if you don't want to run your credit, right? Like, lenders are not going to waste their time with you if you don't want to run, 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 run your credit, if you don't want to get your credit run. It's almost the same thing here, uh, except, you know, you got to, you, you know, just act like you won't follow up. Act like you won't follow up. Not saying that you won't follow up, but just act like it. You know, so see what happens. Let, uh, see what happens. See what, uh, see what happens with your with what happens. Tip number five, last tip I'm gonna give you guys is find their need. Tip number five, find their need. What does that mean for you guys? Okay, so there is a big difference between, you know, having having a use for the funds, for example, you know, but not really having that much information about it versus let's say a pizzeria shop just had their pizza oven break, right? A pizza shop that exclusively makes pizzas. They don't make gyros. They don't make sandwiches. You know, they don't they don't sell sell Italian ices. They only make pizzas. And so this pizza shop got their oven broken, right? They need ten thousand dollars. But then instead of putting positioning it like that, like what do you need? What do you need? What do you need the capital for? Oh, I need the capital to buy a new oven. But really, it's like, dude, you you don't have a pizza oven right now, man. Man, how could you possibly be in business right now? How could you be open right now? Man, you need this money. You need this money, man. Like that it you know, it changes the it changes the whole the whole dynamic and the whole tone and the whole conversation, you know, it, when you find out about their need. But yeah, like dude, like you need that money, man. So, in that case of that uh restaurant owner. All right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all I have for you guys today. Some new tips Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, if you agree with some of these ideas, make sure you leave a like on this video. Okay, I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed already, you know, if you want to help me out, subscribe to this channel and uh, turn on your notifications. And boom, I mean, you know, two free stocks from Weeble. Uh, if you haven't gotten on that, get on it. You know, two free stocks. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to be out. Talk to you soon. Peace. Thanks for watching. Yeah.